seeing a ghost, Cobras TV, look who we've got. He's back. Welcome. Welcome, Tommy Gunn. Where have you been these days? Hey, Bella, I've been on assignment in South America. Yep. Just getting some new talent. Mm -hmm. um, Romeo, Jose, who have we got down at Cobras? Tommy? Uh, we're looking at a signing of Hernandez. Hernandez? Yes. Carlos. Carlos Hernandez coming in. We've got a KFC um, sponsorship. Look who we've got back, Cobras TV, all our 15 viewers. We've got him back. So, due to popular demand. Due to popular demand. We had to get rid of a few others. Who are the other two? I'm not too sure. Um, but we've got Tommy Gunn back. Let's get into the first um, game, which we're going to be uh, discussing. It is the big game, the big blockbuster, the Cobras versus Seaford. At Seaford's ground, Tommy. Um, Seaford currently sitting on second position with 30 points and Caulfield Cobras on 22 with one game less. Um, what are we thinking, Tommy? Big game, big game. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's this is do or die for the Cobras this week. Mm -hmm. A win this week gets them back in the... Uh, the challenge for uh, promotion. A yeah. loss this week. How many games to go, Bella? They're probably around about what, uh, 10, 11 more games? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting to the pointy end of the season now. Mm. Um, so We're eight points. We're eight points behind Seaford. So, really, if we lose, that's 11 points. And it's that's probably it's too season much. over. Season so over. So, this is a big game. Yep. Uh, and I think they'll win. You'll think I'm they'll putting win? putting them down for a 3 1 victory. Mm. And there's rumours going around that Steve Yosafiti is maybe returning Ooh, to the Oh, is that an exclusive, week. hey? Uh, he, he did make an appearance for the, uh, was it the thirds? The thirds, yes. Um, I'm not sure how he went. We didn't have our um, uh, media crew down there. No. Um, we only cover big games. Big, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we do. Uh, uh, Tommy, so, yeah, I totally agree. I think we are going to win as well. And I guess the pressure needs to be put on to the players this week and do we want to single out any players Tommy do you want to single out any what the strike the strikers the midfielders the defenders the coach do we want to single out any any area what do you think oh the keeper the keeper the keeper Why? the keeper's in the fire the keeper's in Tommy's firing line this Whoa, week here we go I want a clean sheet from clean. the keeper mm -hmm. firing line I'm putting it out there I want the midfielders this week I think they are they're okay pushing forward but coming back I'm finding that they're a bit um, too relaxed. And I know Steve's not happy with that. And I'm thinking the midfielders, they've got to do it for us this week or else our season's over. Season's over, boys. If we don't win this week, our season's gone. Do you agree, Tommy? Oh, absolutely. This is this is do or die this week. Yep. So, um, I'm sure, you know, even if they go down, you know, they get the point, still mm. in it. They lose, they'll have to rely on other teams. Yeah, catch and up. And um, it's not the best. So They've had a pretty good year. They're sitting fifth on the ladder at the moment. Yeah. Um, There's been a few games where we've been in front, which we haven't continued. Bit of the North Melbourne Kangaroos. Yeah, yeah. A bit of the curse on, on, on the Cobras. Um, uh, last week, um, there wasn't a game, as we know, because um, due to the weather conditions. I know the previous week, um, Middle Park, which is currently third, actually beat Seaford. Five goals to three. So the pressure will be on Seaford this week. Exactly. To respond. Now, a question without notice, Bella. Yes. Uh, rumour has it mm. that you went for a medical examination <laughs> about a month ago. I did, I did. Now, this is resulting uh, in, um, mm. this is a result of the uh, the knee reconstruction Bella did have last year. Mm -hmm. Now, Bella, can you give us a, what happened? An update, yeah. An update. Yep, unfortunately the, uh, the orthopaedic surgeon has um, given me not all clear. Uh, no, clear? Might be, no, no clearance to play. Um, and I know you'll be devastated, all 10 viewers <laughs> that, are, sure. that, are, that are watching us. But yeah, no, no, we've got a little bit of uh, cartilage and meniscus damage, so... Doesn't so look that's like... it? So never? Never, never say never? Never say never, but um, it's not looking good. Are you going to announce your retirement? Well... Can is... we get a Cobras exclusive? Not at the moment. <laughs> well, there's still a chance There's still there. a chance. I still think... Mm. With three games to go, we may see Vela pull the boots back on. Maybe. For a farewell game. Mm. Maybe. Well, email us. Mm -hmm. cobrastv one hd at gmail.com. Do you want to see Vela <laughs> given one last game? If it comes down to the final game, the yeah. club is sitting fourth or fifth and doesn't mean anything, should Vela be given a, a testimonial game? I email guess, us. I guess if he needs some cordial, I guess half-time I'll be there as well. <laughs> um, we'll take a break and we'll get back... Um, and we'll talk about maybe good suit, bad suit. Yep, Bella's Venom. Sounds good. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Swimming. It's the one thing I need to keep in shape. And the one thing I need to keep my hair in great shape is Pert. As you shampoo, Pert's microbead conditioner spreads evenly through your hair. Then as you rinse, the microbeads go to work. 
Just one step, and my hair's soft, silky, and full of life. Five seconds, Lisa. And if you want to look good all the time, that's really good news. Pert, for hair that's soft and full of life. Okay, we're back here with uh, Vela and the one, the only, Tommy Gunn, back. Um, we'll go into our one of our popular segments. We'll go into Good Soup, Bad Soup. Absolutely. Let's go on to it. Du, du, du. Okay, Good Soup, Bad Soup. Let's start with Vela. Good Soup. Melbourne victory embarrassed the A-League last night. They did. Shocking. Terrible. Liverpool 1-2-0. We all saw that. Um, bad suit. Didn't like the way they played. Didn't like them. You? Didn't like them? Yep. I didn't watch it. Yep. Um, I got Foxtel. Don't have HD on the Foxtel. Oh, no. I don't have an aerial on the roof. Not good. Good suit, bad suit. Kevin Rudd or Tony Abbott? I'm saying Kevin Rudd. Good suit. You think? Oh, Jesus. I think... I think um, Jeez, I think Abbott will win. Abbott, yeah? But Jesus Just? Christ. Oh, God, help, be, God help us. <laughs> down to the wire. Absolutely. <laughs> Pauline Hanson. Pauline Hanson. I don't know. Who knows? They might, she might all deport us who, who hasn't uh, got <laughs> parents of Australian heritage. Uh, look out, Cobras. Look at yeah, I'm back to the homeland. <laughs> Tommy, you're uh, next. Good Sue, Bad Sue. Yes. Next year, mm. as a la the AFL footy show, Vela mm. to ride his bike to Townsville in support. Whoa. In support of the Turks Out of Cyprus campaign. Definitely good soup. We want that soup. <laughs> <laughs> Turks out of Cyprus. Get out of there. Owner, Yevuls, get your people out of there. <laughs> <laughs> good soup, bad soup. Tommy, do we think any other original Cobras TV uh, panellist will be on the next couple of episodes of Cobras TV? Uh, that, that's a bad soup. They bad won't soup? be appearing anymore no? since the return of Tommy Gunn. Yeah. Um, you're you're taking of, up all the money, I guess. There's been a, been a bit of a restructure. Mm. We may see them at the Venoms later this year, walking mm -hmm. the yellow carpet. Yep. Um, but it doesn't look good. Doesn't look good? No. All right. Any more? Have we got any no, more? I think that's about that's it. That's about it. All right, we'll take a break and we'll come back with Vela's Venom. You know, Peebo's got a master plan to get rid of all the nasties in the land. They've got a strong range of insecticides to see the end of the cockies. The mozzies and flies and just about all the nasties besides just imagine there'd be no more cockies in the kitchen if you peep around the fridge no more flies buzzing past your eyes no more silver fish rich it is there'd be no more nasties in the bedroom no more mossies buzzing low give them all the old one two three hit them with the old people hit them with the old people hit them with the old people Hit them high, hit them low, hit them with the old Peebo. There are three strong Peebo sprays. Peebo Pine Fresh. Just because it doesn't pong, doesn't mean it isn't strong. One sniff, biff, they've had the gong. And Peebo Surface Spray kills cockies near as good as two bits of wood. Hit them with the old Peebo. Okay, we're back for Vela's Venom. I'm going to get stuck into the person I have been really despising He's come back to play for Melbourne Harp, that is Harry Kuehl. Now, Tommy, is it true that Harry Kuehl is under a cloud of fitness concerns? Melbourne Harp have got a friendly game against the Shepparton, I don't know, Shepparton Sheeps, whoever they're going to be playing up at Shepparton, and he's under the cloud of fitness concerns. Pathetic. I don't know. What's this bloke on? I don't. I, I really don't know. Maybe he needs to be on something. Maybe we need to get Stephen Dank, Yossa. Stephen Dank, get us the details. Um, he has come back uh, on a base uh, wage. The guy hasn't played a regular full season for the, for the last several uh, for the Ooh, last several seasons. Since Galatasaray. Since Galatasaray, exactly. And now he's playing for Melbourne Harp. And the first game that they have for pre-season, he's not available due to fitness concerns. Now I don't know if he's been out on the town. I don't know if he's gone to the Metro nightclub. I don't know if he's spinning was up. Was he at the Caulfield uh, Cobras poker night? No, he wasn't. Congratulations, Costa, on winning that. No, he wasn't at the Cobras Poker Night. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to sign his wife up to home and away because neighbours didn't cut didn't cut the deal. I don't know, but pathetic. Tommy, what do you think? I, I don't understand. They brought him in. It's a practice game up in Shepparton. Practice they're, game. They're not playing, <laughs> they're not playing the Cobras. Yeah. But, you know... 
a big club like us. Yeah, of course yeah. not. I, I just don't understand. Give sub him on. Give mm. him a run. Mm. How's he going to get fitness if you don't play him? I don't know. Injured? How old what, is he? He's injured. How's he getting injured? What driving? Driving? Walking to the fridge and back? Thirty-five years old, is he? Four. At least, I think. At least. I don't know. I don't want the chances of him playing in the World Cup. I don't think so and either. If he does, mm. we're going backwards. But yeah, definitely. Okay, that's been Vela's Venom. We'll take a short break. We'll wrap up the last um, segment for this show, and we'll see you in a minute or so. America, you look like you need a holiday. A fair income holiday. In the land of wonder. The land down under. Now, there's a few things I've got to warn you about. Firstly, you're going to get wet. Because the place is surrounded by water. Oh, and you're going to have to learn to say good day. Because every day's a good day in Australia. G'day, Paul. G'day, love. Apart from that, no worries. You'll have the time of your life in Australia. Because we talk the same language. Although you lot do have a funny accent. Come on. Come and say g'day. I'll slip an extra shrimp on the barbie for you. Come and say g'day. Okay, we're back for the last segment. It's going to be a bit of a wrap-up. Um, I just wanted to mention, um, obviously, the reserves are going to be playing this week against Seaford as well. Johnny T has been doing an absolutely fantastic job this season. Coaching um, waiting for next year. I'm thinking maybe, who knows? Maybe. It does it depends on the money. I'm thinking they're gonna win as well. Three or four. They may concede one, but I'm thinking the reserves are gonna win. Um, and in regards to the seniors, it's a do or die. It's a season defining game. Guys, I'm really expecting to see a number of things happen. I'm really wanting to see the second and the third efforts during the whole 90 minutes, because we know Seaford is, is, is not going to stop for the whole 90 minutes. So that's really what I'm expecting, and I'm putting it out there that as uh, panelists, Cobras TV, we are going to be expecting, and our viewers, and the members and the supporters of Cobras Soccer Club are going to be expecting that the Cobras senior team go out there and perform. Their intensity levels are going to be very high, and we are going to be expecting the second and third efforts. If not, we're putting it out there, Tommy. I'm putting it out there. We're going to start naming that players' names. We're going to start putting it out there. We are going to be watching you guys play the whole 90 minutes. And if we see the second and third efforts not present, you're going to be named in the next episode because we're not going to put up with it anymore. We've been saying it. We've been conceding too many goals. And we're going to start naming names. And we end up getting sued. We might get sued, but we've got good solicitors. Tommy, Tommy, what do you think? Oh, I think that's, um, it has to happen. You know, no more touchy-feely mm, approach yep. we need you know we're a championship team down at Cobberland. we won the championship last year right let's play like champions and let's take care of Seaford mm -hmm. okay well thanks very much Tommy he's back he's gonna contribute he's gonna have Tommy Gunn's firing line or something Tommy Gunn in the firing line Tommy. email us mm -hmm. if you want any person in the firing line and yep. I'll cook them there you go all right, Tommy, thanks very much. Guys, we'll see you Saturday at Seaford. Travel down, be safe, and we'll see you next week.